Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss one important integral involving the derivative of a derived delta function, right? So here uh, we have to evaluate uh, this integral uh, from uh, minus 2 to 4 and uh, we have x raised to 4 minus 2x square plus 4 and, uh, and here we have the uh, second derivative of uh, Dirac delta function that is delta double prime x minus 1 dx, right? So here uh, we'll see how we can use the derivative property of Dirac delta function uh, to evaluate these type of integrals uh, involving the derivative of Dirac delta function, right? So let us start. So now uh, let us uh, take this integral as i, right? So here uh, we are uh, using a very important property uh, that is integral from minus infinity to infinity. And suppose here we have a function f of x and here we have uh, the nth derivative of Dirac delta function and here we have x minus a, right? So whenever we have this type of integral where we have a function f of x and the nth derivative of uh, Dirac delta function at this point that is x is equal to a, then the value of this integral uh, can be directly written as minus 1 raised to n and here uh, we have the nth derivative of this function f of x which is evaluated at the point uh, x is equal to a so here we have a right so this property uh, will be used to evaluate uh, this integral right so what we will do uh, we'll uh, compare this integral uh, with this one now see uh, here the limits of integration are from minus 2 to 4, right? And here the limits of integration are from minus infinity to infinity. So we can also modify this property uh, as integral uh, from say capital A to capital B and here f of x and the nth derivative of Dirac delta function x minus a dx and here we have minus 1 raised to n f and here we have the nth derivative evaluated at the point uh, x is equal to a, right? So here the limits of integration are from a to b and this point that is x is equal to a, it lies between a and b, right? And here in this uh, integral, we, uh, we can see that we have x minus 1, right? So x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have the point x is equal to 1. And this point 1, uh, it belongs to uh, the limits that is minus 2 to 4, right? So 1 falls within minus 2 and uh, 4. So now if we compare... Uh, these uh, uh, integrals either this one or this one with this integral then the function f of x is given as x raised to 4 minus 2x square plus 4 right and see uh, here we have the nth derivative so here we have the uh, notation double prime so the value of n is 2 right so it means uh, we have to find the second derivative of f of x because n is 2. So n represents the order of the uh, derivative. And here we have x minus a and here we have x minus 1. So the value of a is 1, right? So the value of this integral i is now equal to uh, minus 1 raised to n. So we have minus 1 and n is 2 and f and here we have the nth derivative. So here n is 2. So we have the second derivative, right? And uh, this second derivative is to be evaluated at this point a. 
and a is 1 right so this point is a so a is 1 so now the square of minus 1 is positive so we have simply 1 here so this is simply f double prime uh, at x is equal to 1 right or a is equal to 1 so let us find out the derivative of this function so the first derivative is uh, the derivative of x raised to 4 is 4x cube and here we have 2x so this is 4x right and the derivative of uh, 4 uh, being a constant is equal to 0 let us find out the second derivative so here we have uh, uh, the derivative of x cube as uh, 3x square so multiplying it by 4 we have 12x square and here the derivative of x is 1 so we have simply uh, 4 so now uh, let us uh, substitute here uh, x is equal to 1 right or a is equal to 1 so we have f prime of f double prime of 1 is 12 here we have 1 square minus 4 so this is 12 minus 4 that is 8 right so the value of the second derivative of f at this point 1 is 8 so here i is equal to 8 right so viewers the value of this uh, integral involving the derivative of uh, Dirac delta function is equal to 8.